Hi everybody, this is Shaleen of the Color in Book Nook. I want to say hi to all my peepers. <clears throat> Don't know what's going on with my voice all of a sudden. Disclaimer, this is an adult channel. I am an adult. I make content for adults. If you are under 18, please leave now. Goodbye. Another disclaimer, I have cats and a dog and you never know what's going to happen during my live stream because the cats get up here, they put their butts in the camera and the dog will bark at the drop of a hat and she will scare the shit out of you. Just to let you know. <laughs> hi Kim, hi Candace, hi Pippa. How is everybody? So Pippa, I got my video done today for the premiere and it's set to go for that night. That was really easy. Just clicked on premiere and then what day and time. <laughs> Hi Jody. How is everybody? <clears throat> so we're working still in mythical and fantasy. I started this last Monday. Link for this is in my description on Amazon. I am an Amazon affiliate, so I make a few cents off the order, not much. I am doing a lot better, Candace. Thank you. Hi, Robin. Yeah, my cold is like, I think it was just sinuses. And today I have my tea. Hold on, I'll show you my teacup. I can't tilt it too much, but it's my teacup. It's from Starbucks. Justin bought it for me a couple years ago. Starbucks. So, got my tea, got my cup. And tonight's tea is, well, where, oh, my glass case is on it. It's Chai Green by Stash, and this has caffeine because it does not say decaffeinated. I have not tried it yet. Oh, Kim, I hate when I wake up in a pissy mood, and I, yeah, that drives me nuts. Hi, Selena. Hi, Troy. What, what happened, Kim? You had such a good weekend with your Prismas. What Facebook account do I message you on? Oh, the one that just says Shaleen Toland. Not the one with the morale in the middle because that's for family and close friends. Not that you're not a friend, but I use that one. And it has, um, what is my picture? It's a Hannah Lynn picture. As my um, picture. But I use that account for coloring and reading and diamond painting. Hi, Joey. Yeah, I've been melancholy, too. I think that I had a very stressful weekend, and my anxiety was running very, very high, worse than ever. Hi, Barbara. And I'm going to start coloring while I'm talking. So today I was able to get things done that I needed to get done to fix the problems that was going on before the weekend. So hopefully... <laughs> um, it'll be better. So, I vacuumed this morning. I did the three phone, well, I made two phone calls. Did I make two? I made one phone call, and that phone call had me do two, one email. That email had the person call me. <laughs> That person that called me gave me an email, and another person called me from the first part. It was crazy today, but 
things are getting straightened out. I was hoping I had a gray marker. I don't see... I must not have any gray in my Prismacolor markers. Well, I thought I was going to do a gray on his horns, like a really light gray. <sighs> no, Barbara, I'm, I'm going to do that tomorrow. I totally forgot. My weekend was like really stressful. And so I remembered today and I didn't get to it today. So I am going to be doing that tomorrow. So thank you for reminding me though. Yep. I will be doing that tomorrow. So I wanted to do like a light gray. And I don't think I have a light gray in my... Pr oh, I do in my Copics. Hold on. Yes, you would do really good doing that down there, Jody. Let me go grab my, I have a light gray. So today I vacuumed because it needed it. You know, I have a lot of pets. What color is this? Would help if I put my glasses on. It's a gray. This is a gray. <clears throat> So, yep, I vacuumed the whole house and started laundry, and guess what? I got engrossed in the Hallmark movies. I watched three today, and forgot about the laundry. <laughs> Hi, Nick and Tina. Jody's been watercoloring. Robin's working on a puzzle. So yeah, this is the first time coloring today. It was a Hallmark movie day. And I am caught up on all my blog tours for this month. So I thought maybe I would take a break from reading this week. And just watch Hallmark movies. So I did. I took a break. I'm like, I'm caught up. I can take a break. <laughs> Hi, Jeannie. So, yep, that's what I did today. We'll see how I... Oh, I better get my glasses on. These... These images are big, but the eyes, why does this one have a place for the pupil and that one doesn't? I don't understand that. <laughs> so, we will make one of that a pupil, I guess. So, yeah, that's what I did today. Chilled out on the couch with the cat. Molly, Molly was on me the whole time. Pearl was sleeping up on the cat tree, and Daenerys, she would wander. She made me very angry today, though, because Amazon came, and you know how she is when she barks? Well, that little witch, don't I have, I know I have more colors than this. Where are they? Don't I have another one of these? I thought I had four cases. Okay, what I do with all my markers? I don't see it. I only see these three cases. Hmm, I know I have black. I don't know what's going on here. I know I have I know I have another one of these. Where is it? Hmm. Yep, laundry is. And I don't have a lot of laundry. <laughs> yeah, I thought I had 
more I thought I had another one so where would it have gone all my markers are kept on one shelf in this room and I'm looking at my pencil case bookcase no markers there no markers on my bookcase with my coloring books I'm looking at all my glitter my my gel pen shelf it's not there my watercolor shelf it's not there what the hell I don't know I must be losing my mind I probably only had three and I thought I had four. Let me look in my, nope, it's not in there either. Hmm, I don't know peoples, not unless it fell. <sighs> oh well. <laughs> Hi Chantal, how are you? Hi Laura. Oh, I do that too Candace. I wash them like all Sunday. I wash all my clothes on Sunday and then during and then I'll fold them when I feel like it. I know, Candace. I know I have I know I have another one of these. At least because I have black and I can't find it. Oh well. I have black in the Copic. I'll have to use that one. Oops. What happened to that? Hmm. That was strange. I don't know why the tip is like this. Yeah, I don't know. I know I have. I don't know. I know I have more markers and they're not in the case and they're in the box up there. So maybe I put the black up there and not in the case. Oh well. <laughs> That's my life. So this tea is really good. Okay, eggs. Should we do the eggs like a blue? And I don't know what to do. Ooh, sparkles. Got to put some sparkles on the dragon, right? Because she's got pretty lashes and like eyeshadow. So it's a girl dragon, right? <laughs> a girl dragon. Like in Shrek. She's a girl dragon. Of course you are. Isn't that what Donkey says to her? So, yep, when I'm done with my live stream, I'll be watching diamond painting videos from the weekend and diamond paint because I like to do that before I go to bed it seems to relax me more than the coloring does and since I haven't been babysitting I might as well take advantage of being the night owl that I want to be I like to be so tomorrow I need to finish the laundry and I'm going to dust tomorrow. And watch more Hallmark movies. Because I've been DVRing them since they started at the end of October. And I have watched, what, three or four. 
I watched three or four last week and then three today. And tomorrow's my live stream with Planner Talk, which I might, well, I need to set up this week's. I have not done this week's planners, except for my mini happy planner because I had to use that today. Yeah, Candace, I'm behind on that, too. I should be coloring them when I'm watching Hallmark movies. So I might do that tomorrow, too. I'm just switching up different blues. As I, I'm doing two Advents, I'm doing the one with Passionista Colorista and the one from Rita Berman from her Facebook group because I have the coloring, the winter book of Rita Berman's and I'm behind on that too. I don't know why I'm behind. If you only color, if you only have to color one a day, I should be able to do that. Especially since I haven't been babysitting. I'm home. What is my excuse? <laughs> You're diamond painting the Titanic. Hi, Sarah. Oh, yeah, I like that picture. Cool. Oh, no, Jody. Hi, Charisma. Trying to keep on moving fast so that I don't have streaks. So is the Titanic diamond painting for you or is it a gift for someone? And I have decided that um, I'll do some shading with my Prismacolor pencils on this. And I have no idea who's doing color alongs next month. I know um, the only one that has told me is Sandy of Color Creatively. And I did finish my Christmas tree that I was working on. Friday night and last night in the Christmas color thon. So that is done. And that's the only thing I have finished this month. How sad is that? And it's the middle of the month. That's not good for me. <laughs> Maybe this weekend. Because I think this weekend I want to color all weekend. Oh, the diamond paintings from Amazon. I love to 
Yeah, I like Titanic too. Thank you, Charisma. Oh, yeah. Titanic theme in your bedroom. So, I think, I don't, I don't think this part's the egg. Maybe I'll try another blue. Let's try this one. So I do have to put up a flip through of the new color at color in books. I've got to do that tomorrow. And I think, well, I want to do a unboxing of the new diamond art, diamond art club kit that I got in the mail. But I think I'm going to have to do that at the kitchen table because I, when I unbox my kits, this table is not big enough. So I think I'm going to start doing those at my kitchen table because my kitchen table is big. I think it will work much better that way. And Catherine bought me a box of tea from Amazon, and that got delivered today, and that's why the dog pissed me off today. Because you know how she barks? Well, when, she, when you're a stranger, she is not nice. So usually when she's barking and carrying on with Amazon or UPS or the mail lady... I go out and wait for them to bring me the stuff I'll stand on the porch. And she'll stay in the house and bark. She sounds like she's going to go through the window. Well, I went to go out on the porch, and when I go to close it, she'll stay in there. Well, she didn't this time. She snuck out on me and went running down the driveway towards the Amazon truck. I was furious because I don't know what she'll do. And the lady from Amazon hurried up and got back in the vehicle till I got my dog back in the house. And I kept apologizing to her. I felt horrible. Like, just, I have never had a dog like this before. And I understand she's guarding me. But when I tell her enough, she needs to stop. <clears throat> so I was not happy with her. You want bigger diamond paintings? Oh, okay. Hi, Catherine. I'm drinking one of my tea. So, Catherine knew I was getting low on tea and I was having a really bad weekend. So, she sent me some tea. Which was very nice. I think. Let's see. Oh, this will work for whatever the nesting is. So, Scott asked me again today, what do you want for Christmas? And I keep telling him, I don't need you to get me anything for Christmas because you pay for my nails every two weeks. He's, he bought me the air conditioner for this room so my pencils don't get ruined in the summer. You know, and if I want things, he, get, he, he buys it for me. And he's like, no, I need to get you stuff for Christmas. I'm like, all I want is tea and bath and body works. That's it. So he wants me to make him a list. I'm like, really? But I don't need anything. I'm just 
I'm out of my Bath and Body Works. So I'll just tell them what scents I like. And then I guess I'll just tell them what flavors tea. I think that was supposed to, I'm screwing up. This is part of like the eggshell and it's not the bedding. Oh well. <laughs> Hi, Rhea. How are you? So, yeah. I have to get a frame for his wolf. And I don't know what else to get him. Then my sister messaged me today. What do the boys want for Christmas? I haven't a clue. Because I asked the boys, what do you want for Christmas? Justin wants the whole collection of Game of Thrones. Okay, well, I can do that. And Dylan says he wants boxers and socks. I'm like, really? You want me to buy you boxers and socks? And he said, yes. <laughs> Okay. I don't know what color to do in here. Should I do that sparkly too? Well, I don't want to put sparkles on yet. Let me do some shading first. Listen, T Max here. Hi, it's been a long time. Hi, Marilyn. Moonlit Path from Bath and Body Works. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, that's true, too. And my nose is runny again. Okay. Let's get some browns on this tree. So for the people coming in now, how was your day and what are you coloring? And I have the hiccups. And I'm not drinking alcohol. I'm just drinking plain old tea.
So who else have I enabled to diamond paint? No, I never used to watch Anne when she did that because I was never interested. Or Stitcherista. Until Laura talked me into pulling out the two kits that I had last year. Now that's all I want to do. But I do like coloring. I still, still love my color, and I just haven't been doing that. As you know, I'll get tired a little bit of the diamond painting, and I'll need a break. And I plan on doing, like, each weekend something different. So one weekend will be read a reading weekend, and one weekend will be a diamond painting weekend and one weekend will be cross stitch weekend and one week will be a coloring weekend <laughs> Candace says we enabled her to start back up. <laughs> That's right, Jody. Just keep saying yet anyways. Not yet. I don't know, Jody. You like sparkle. I can't believe you're not going to try it. Especially when they have unicorns and all kinds of other cute things with all the sparkles. I'll give you about two months. <laughs> Charisma used to read all the time. Now she can't get into it. <laughs> oh, Jeannie, this is the... um. The Mythical and Fantasy book by Color It. And the link for Amazon is in the description, or yeah, in the description of this. Yep, never say never. Never say never. Because I didn't think I would like it. <laughs> you were never going to use pencils, but you do now. See? No, Miss Pearl. Go back to sleep. Miss Pearl's looking for me. She was sleeping on the very top of the cat tree. And the last time she saw me, I was curled up on the couch watching a movie with Molly. Miss Molly Moo was curled up with me. And the dog for some part of it. Oh, she came in and laid with me after she got in trouble from the Amazon person. Because I told her how mad I was at her, and she was a very naughty girl. Come here, Miss Pearl. 
Come on. Come here. Well, come here. I'm in here. Come on. The dog right now is curled up in here on the cat bed. Scott gets a kick out of it. He's going, she's too big for the cat bed. I said, well, the cats aren't in it. <laughs> yeah, she's not coming in here. She's wandering in the hall. And Ruby, she's been sleeping on my bed all day. There she is. Look, I'm right here. What? What's the matter? Hmm? Are you being a good girl? Did you wake up? Did you have a nice long nap? Huh? Did you have a nice long nap? Yeah, you were sound asleep in there. Corey, I'm, oh, there's Miss Corey. Catherine. Oh, Catherine. You know, I have some of the best friends. And you guys make me cry. Yes, Catherine is in the stream and she's messaging with me. Thank you, Catherine. I am spoiled by my friends and right now I can't reciprocate. Yes, Catherine is. Am I allowed to uh, show them? Okay, so Catherine bought this for me and she's sending it tomorrow and it's from Jim's Pen Shop. So she got me this really pretty purple one. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And she spoils me. You guys... Just a small, you sent me a box of tea today that came through the Amazon. Yeah, it's a diamond painting pen.
I don't know what to say. I know tea, I know my tea will last me a while. I drink tea all day long in the winter and it's been a cold few weeks. So I drink like six cups a day. So I go through a lot of tea. And Corey, I got the Christmas card. I got Christmas cards from a few people. And I have a box of Christmas cards that I wanted to do this year. And guess what? They're still sitting in the drawer. Oh, no, Corey. Did you tell them that you had credit on there? Hi, coloring down under. How are you? Yeah, Justin called me yesterday and said... Did you order stuff on Black Friday on Amazon and use my charge card? And I said, absolutely not. I would never use your charge card. And I didn't order anything on Black Friday. He goes, well, there's an order from Amazon on my charge card for like $123 or something like that. And I said, I didn't order anything. I said, let me go in and see if maybe your brother or Amber didn't accidentally put their order on your card instead of theirs. Because they all use my account. Justin has his own Amazon now, but I don't think he has Prime. So if he wants to use Prime, then he uses my account. But, um... So I went on and I looked under my orders. I said, nothing's been ordered. I said, Dylan ordered something that was like $11. And nothing, but that wasn't on Black Friday. I said, there's nothing on there. So he called Amazon. And they said, yeah, that was for the Amazon Prime for the year. And Justin's like, I don't know why they put it on my card. And I says, that makes no sense because my card that I have on Amazon is working just fine. And that's the default card on my account. So I don't know why they did that. So I just told him we'll pay him back. So I have no idea why that happened. made no sense to me <clears throat> but at least we know his account wasn't or his card wasn't hacked so I'm like no I don't use your card Dylan's cards on there his Amber's and I even think one of Scott's is on there but I don't use I don't use any of theirs <laughs> that time of year things are hacked that's okay Robin oh yeah coloring down under I'm um 
I was only upset at first, you know, like we didn't really know what was going on with YouTube, but after watching some more videos and doing homework, I'm not really too concerned about my channel. So as of right now, I'm staying here and just, you know, I have a, it's an adult only channel disclaimer and, um, I have my channel set up for adults. So we'll see what happens. And luckily I have not had any videos flagged. A lot of people have had videos flagged. I have not yet. But I did put my, um, all of my flip throughs and my pencil reviews are unlisted for right now. And then I want to go back. I want to make a new thumbnail for flip throughs and change the thumbnail and maybe the title. And then they'll probably go back up. Either that or I'll just take them down and I'll just, you know, the new, I have new flip throughs. I have a pile of books I need to do flip throughs of. So that might be another thing that I can do well I'm not babysitting for a while I don't know when I'll be babysitting again right now don't know so they'll let me know when I they need me again <laughs> I miss the boys. I might have to take Carson one day, have him spend the night here. Blake doesn't sleep anywhere but his own bed. So I don't think he would spend the night here, but Carson would. Oh no, Candace. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, I so I told Justin I'll just pay him back. I have no idea why they did that. Okay, we got some shading done on the tree. I like it. Let's do a little bit of green on the dragon. My nose is a runny today. And I still have to get Christmas gifts. So Scott's like, well, let me know how much you need. I don't know how much I need. I know what I'm getting, people. I just don't know how much I need. Must be he won't go with me. So now I got to go shopping all by myself. So I guess I'll have to head to the mall. The one mall I absolutely love. It's 45 minutes away. So I guess maybe I'll do that Saturday. 
unless Scott goes with me. I don't really care for the other mall that I grew up going to. You guys are quiet. Am I boring you? <laughs> so, yep. Hallmark week. That's all I'm going to do. Watch Hallmark movies. I don't know if there's any diamond painting live streams tonight. Are you working on Adam's diamond painting, Laura? I actually should sleep really good tonight. I've only had to take, I took an anxiety pill when I got up this morning, and that's the only one I needed. And this weekend, I would be on my third one by now. So I'm doing a much better and I've been having horrible dreams. Just really weird, horrible ones. Not, I don't even know how to describe them. Just really weird. So hopefully it'll be better tonight. And I've been eating. I did not eat breakfast again. But once I got all the phone calls and emails all done that I had to do today, I started feeling better, so... I did eat lunch and dinner. I don't know how you guys deal with anxiety all the time like this because that's just, it's crippling. I now know what you mean by it's crippling because it really, really is. Oh, you're working on... You don't like the Cardinal, Laura? <laughs> Weed? <laughs> yeah, it's not legal here. At least I don't have to worry about, I wouldn't have to worry about drug testing with my job. <laughs> Babysit my grandsons. <laughs> well, yeah, I know medical is. Thankfully, I don't usually have it like this all the time. I'm liking this. The, the scales look really cool. Well, you could in your house as long as you didn't get caught, Catherine. <laughs> Hi, Andrea. How are you?
I haven't even been on Instagram in a while, Andrea. Have you been doing a lot of dragon pictures? Andrea is doing this color lawn with me. Co-hosting with me. This is the only one I've worked on. Okay, bye Nick and Tina. Have a good night. No, no one's heard from him, Corey. I get asked all the time, but nobody has heard from him. And he is no longer in the Facebook group that he started. He's not even in it, let alone the owner of the group. The little dragon. Yep. Deck the dragons. Hashtag deck the dragons. I'm glad I decided to do some shading on this. Well, it must be Pearl just wanted to be pet a little bit and she left the room. She took the dog with her. Dog left the room too. See how it is around here? They don't need anything from me now, so they just up and leave me. They'll start. What time is it? Oh, I'm surprised they're not all yelling. It's dinner time for them. That's what I was going to do. I was going to feed them before I started streaming so they wouldn't bug me. Thank you, Laura. Yeah, I I love doing the color lawns. I just don't want to host them anymore. Except for Christmas in July and um, Carloween. This way I can do what I want. And I don't have to worry about it. Is like I'm focusing on five coloring books next year. And hopefully they'll work for some color lawns. But I will do one. I'll do them in my group. And I did ask about that, and they do want color lawns in my group. So I'll do them on there.
So, Corey, I had Molly Moo all day curled up with me while I watched Hallmark movies. I should have sent you a picture. <laughs> Corey wants my Molly Moo. She keeps telling me to send her to her. Said no. <laughs> she cannot have my Molly Moo. I don't know if Molly Molly um bothers Catherine when she's here. I know she ignored Lisa when Lisa was here last year. Molly ignored her. <laughs> this egg here. Oh I'm sorry, Corey. It's hard. She's old. She is, let's see, she's 13. She's 13 because I got her the summer of 2009, and she was three years old when I rescued her from the shelter. So, yep. She's getting up there. All my cats are. Like Rascal, he, or Rascal's got to be about 16. And Outsider is around 16, 17 years old. Rascal doesn't act it or look it. Ruby is 10. She'll be 11 in a couple months. So, yeah, my cats are getting up there in age. Yeah, see, Catherine says Molly just asks for to be pet once in a while. She doesn't really bother Catherine. And I think this is the first time that Catherine came that um, Pearl even went to. The one who loved Lisa when she was here was Ruby. Because Ruby would not leave Lisa alone. <laughs> yeah, Ruby bothers you at night. <laughs> Laura Frank bought Jen a diamond painting bookmark. Really? Cool. Yeah, I, I would miss my fur babies. And um, Daenerys, she is five years old. She turned five last month. I don't know how that's possible. It seems like I just got her. She was seven weeks old when I got her. Just a baby. Just a baby. Who tagged you? Laura.
Oh, really? On Instagram? I'll have to go look. I haven't been on it. Sometimes I spend too much time on social media and I don't get anything else done. So I just take a break. I am trying to get better of posting in my group. I don't see everybody's pictures because I don't have time to do all that. You're talking her into diamond painting. I think I thought she kept saying no, she wasn't going to. Oh, gotta put some ears in her ear. In her ear. Okay, how about some shading on the eggs? Or, see I screwed up because that's probably a part of the top of the eggshell and I colored it as part of the straw or whatever they made the nest out of. Oh well. She agreed to get one from Diamond Art Club. Cool. Cool. So is there any coloring books or supplies out there that people are asking for for Christmas or that's just on their wish list? For those of you that don't celebrate Christmas... Is there anything on your wish list that you really want as far as coloring? I don't really have... I mean, I have a huge wish list on Amazon, but there's really not anything that I really, really want. I do want the um, the two or three coloring books that I don't have of Mystic Art Mirrors. But there aren't any pencils or markers I want. And I'm set on gel pens for quite a while. Because I forgot I had another set of gel pens that are sitting in my little wicker basket. So I have those. Plus I have a couple other sets of gel pens. Okay, Candice, Laura, and I. You are doing the 2020. Okay, are we all working on the same one? And what are we working on? Did I already know this and I didn't mark it down? Because... <laughs> My memory sometimes is horrible. I'm going to warn you right now, Laura, because I've done that to Lisa, and I hurt Lisa's feelings once, and I said, nope, nothing against you. I said, I forget things very easily, especially if I don't write them down. And she goes, oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, no clue, huh? Okay. 
and I'm finding out now I am really bad sometimes at remembering stuff like that so I know what was I forgot what I did oh Lisa had a procedure done and so two days later she's like and you didn't even ask me how my procedure went and I had totally forgotten about it because I didn't I have to write stuff down. It's just how I am. And I felt really bad. So now she knows that it's. I don't do it on purpose. <laughs> I'm trying to get better at that stuff. And it depends on what's going on in my life at the moment when someone tells me something. <laughs> the more the merrier. Hi, Brittany. So maybe like we all need to do a Hannah Lynn one. Does everybody like Hannah Lynn? We all should do a Hannah Lynn diamond painting. See, now that I could do on my channel on when I do my diamond painting on Saturday nights. I could do a diamond paint in the lawn. Because I don't, I only work on one diamond painting at a time. And I already have a couple of the Hannah Lynn's. Is Corey not having a good time? I see prayers and hugs for Corey. Everybody always has my prayers and hugs. Because we all needed it sometime. See, just a little bit of shading. I didn't do a lot. No, you can only get them from Diamond Art Club because they're the only ones that are licensed to do handling. Okay. Okay, now we can. Let's move on and do some shading on the eggs and then we can add glitter. Glitter! I add some that's the one I have Catherine I bought like two or three of the Hannah Lynn ones and it might be sold out again but usually it will say sold out maybe Laura can go see if it's still available okay what blue do I want I let you out before I started streaming. And if you're whining because you're hungry, guess what? You're going to have to wait. And I ask you, you and the cats all the time to fix me another cup of tea when I'm streaming and nobody gets it for me. So guess what? You're shit out of luck until I'm done here. 
You're not starving to death. Don't even try to tell me you are. Yeah, the Ice Princess one. You're fine. You'll live. You only have to wait an hour. When I hear Molly moo, then I know you guys are starving to death. She's the one that lets me know that it's dinner time and you guys better get fed now. You're fine. I know, I want Trixie. I colored that picture in the Hanlon book. I colored that. I want the Trixie. I just added like four more in my wish list on there. Now, I want to know something. Are we able to see each other's wish list on there? What's the wish list for? Because if it's just for us, what good is that? I want to be able to see people's wish lists like you can on Amazon. <laughs> okay I did I made a wish list but I don't know if people can see them like you can on Amazon but mine's full <laughs> there's a couple of other diamond painting sites I have a lot on <laughs> But I'm not buying any more till I get a few more of them done. And I think what I'm going to do this weekend when I go shopping is buy the Mod Podge Glitter. And then I can take them out on the porch and put the Mod Podge Glitter on the ones that are already finished. So that I can store them in a drawer or something and not have to worry about the diamonds popping off. And then I can throw away the diamonds that came with the kit. Instead of holding on to them in case diamonds fall off. I think that's what I'm going to do this weekend. Because it probably doesn't cost much. I'm sure I can get it. I have a Joann's. I have a Michael's. I have an AC Moore. Oh, Molly says it's time to be fed, Ma. I hear her. Come here, Molly Moo. Come here, Molly. What'd you do with Molly? Did you tell Molly to start meowing so that I would... I'm not feeding you guys right now. You guys can wait. Molly was quiet until you started. She was sleeping. Hello. No, you're fine. Stop whining. 
Oh, there's Pearl. Would Molly do send you in here? Molly send you in here. And tell her she's fine. I know who she'll send in next. She'll send Rascal in next. That's what they do in the mornings. Their their feeding time in the morning is 7.30. And if one of us was has not fed them by 8 o'clock, Molly comes in first. And if that doesn't work, then she sends in Ruby. But see, Ruby doesn't care as long as Ruby's getting pet. So Ruby will curl up underneath the covers with me. So then they send in Rascal because Rascal weighs like 20, 25 pounds. And so they send him in and he sits on top of me and then I can't breathe. And so then I have to wake up and then they get fed. So they have a philosophy how to get fed. The only one they don't really send in is Outsider. Nobody, Outsider doesn't come in. Yeah, it's a war strategy, right? But they know they'll get fed if they send Rascal in because Rascal is such a big cat that I don't want him sitting on me. Okay, gel pens are now coming out. Huh? What? Well, since I'm using a Color It coloring book, I might as well use the Color It gel pens. Makes sense. So what colors do we want here? Some yellows? What do we got? Yellows? I need a piece of paper. Huh. Never can find paper when I want it. Oh, that'll work. Glitter, glitter. And here we'll do a purple. That'll work. Do. Okay, Jody, get some sleep. Thank you for coming in. Yeah, I'll be up for a couple more hours because 
Scott gets out of work at 11. And he doesn't get home till about quarter to 12. Because he has to let the truck warm up. And then he watches TV for a little bit and takes a shower before coming to bed. So usually when he's in the shower, I'm turning out all the Christmas lights and stuff and let the dog out. Although for the past few nights, I haven't been going to bed till a couple hours after he has. Look at the glitter! Yay! Thank you, Charisma. I'm getting warm in here. I think it's from the at light. So Corey has work been like crazy with the holiday season. Corey works at Joanne's. Thank you, Catherine. like this page. I didn't want to do anything serious on this page. Just have some fun. Because sometimes that's what the coloring books are for. And since this paper is really shiny, I don't know how long it takes for this ink to dry so it doesn't smear. I'll probably have to leave it sitting out for a while. <laughs> so I know Barbara has this book. Who else has this book? Anybody? Or any color at books? Do you have any color at books? I have a lot of them. I have a lot of them. I 
And they just sent me the new steampunk one that I have to do a flip through. So I got to get that up tomorrow. And do you have any of their gel pens? And I don't know, do they have markers as well? Or pencils? I'm not sure what color it has. I just know they have these gel pens. And it comes with refills. And they have the they have the color name on them too. Yeah, I have Christmas and seasons. Oh, they do have markers. Do you have them, Candace? Do you have their markers and do you like them? I don't need any more markers. I'm just curious. Oh, Jen has a review of them. Cool. I'll have to check it out. I'm just curious. I have the water-based. I have water-based markers and I have alcohol. I prefer the alcohol markers over water based ones but with water based ones you can also use them like watercolors Oh, they have, th you have three sets of alcohol. Hi, Cindy. Yeah, I have the, um, the Prismacolor markers. I don't have all of them, and I have some Copics. And I don't know what you consider like Bic and Sharpies because I have a lot of those too. I have the Cali Arts, but I'm not using them. I'm going to be sending those to Lisa's daughter because Lisa didn't want her Copic, so I bought the Copics from Lisa and I told her I'd send the um, Kaylee Arts to her daughter. And I haven't, I haven't done that yet. I haven't forgotten. I just haven't done it yet. Okay. That came out cute. What you think? I don't think I can zoom out anymore. Let me see if I can. Um, no. So, we can do this. Do do do. See, done. We got some glitter going. Little bit of shading. Woohoo! <laughs> Thank you. We'll let the that the glitter gel pens dry. We should name her Esmeralda. She is Esmeralda. What do you think for a name? <laughs> Uh, 
Esmeralda. I don't know why I named her. So, do you want to do a couple chat pack questions? Since I usually stream for another half hour and I don't want to really start another picture, especially in here, because I don't want to flip the page and smear. I don't want to smear anything. That's me for short. <laughs> okay. I'm going to set that over there and zip up the gel pens. See their gel pens? They come in these nice cases. You get two of them. And yeah. So these are all their gel pens. So they come like that. And they have the color names on them. And on the refills, they have the color names. So you know where to put it. So there's that one. And then you have the sparkly one. And they're both sparkly, but these are called glitter. These are glitter, and those are just sparkly. So these are the glitter ones. So I really don't know what the difference is because they're both sparkly. But I like them. Naked doll, she named her naked. <laughs> That's funny. I was never into baby dolls. Because I asked my mom that once. I think it was a question in my YouTube or Facebook group like a year or so ago. And they were talking about baby dolls. And I asked my mom. I don't remember any of my baby dolls. And my mom said no because I didn't like them. I didn't want any. All I wanted were Barbie dolls and paper dolls. So... Yep, I didn't have any. I was not into baby dolls. I'm like, okay. So we have the Christmas chat pack. Might as well do some. And we'll do some Sunday night. Hi, Mrs. Coffee. How are you? Good to see you. How was your day? I just finished my page I was coloring. So we're now just going to do some Christmas chat pack questions. Because I normally stream for another half an hour and I don't want to start another picture. You're exhausted? What would you do today? Chase Maggie around? <laughs> Hi, Savannah. It's been a long time. Oh, thank you, Pippa. I appreciate that. So, I have a question. If you were going to create and market a holiday cologne or perfume, what would you choose for the fragrance? If you were going to create and market a holiday cologne or perfume, what would you choose for the fragrance? Yes, Savannah, you can. Hold on, it's right here. I just finished it. So we just did this dragon. She's a little dragon, and I named her Esmeralda. And I used my Prismacolor markers 
and I used Prismacolor pencils for the shading and then I used my Color It gel pens for in the egg and around her eye. So yep, she's done. I screwed up though because I know this is part of the eggshell that fell off and I colored it like it was part of the straw for her. Uh, and down here is probably an eggshell too. So I messed up a little bit, but that's okay. <laughs> Thank you. Someone wants a scent like fresh baked chocolate chip cookies. Charisma says fresh air. Candace says cranberry. Corey says something pecan pie. See, my favorite scent during the during Christmas and holiday is peppermint. Peppermint and um, pine for the Christmas tree scent. Because I get real trees. So I love the smell in my family room from the real tree. But my favorite scent to wear I get from Bath and Body Works is their peppermint twist or twisted peppermint I think it's called. And that's my favorite and I'm all out. So I'm going to have Scott get me some for Christmas. But yep. But I don't know if I would want to wear the pine scent. I just like it in the house. But I love to wear the twisted peppermint. I don't know if I would want to smell like chocolate. Cranberry would be okay to wear too. I know Savannah, doesn't that smell really good? I love their twisted peppermint. It's like my favorite. And they have another scent I like. Um, winter candy apple. I really like that one too. I don't know if they have it again this year. I haven't looked. I can't see them stopping twisted peppermint. If they do, I will have a fit. <laughs> because that's my favorite. Yeah, the vanilla bean. I don't know if I have a I don't know if I've had that one. I might have. But yeah, vanilla reminds me of Christmas too. But the twisted peppermint, that one's to die for. Oh, D likes the twisted peppermint, yeah. And you have a candy. Yeah, they still had one winter candy apple this year. Good. Good, good, good. I didn't look because I don't have the money right now. And I need to shop for other people. <laughs> but, yeah, last, well, it would be this year. I went, no, it was last year. I went, like, two days after Christmas when they have their sales. And I got like $150 worth of Bath and Body Works stuff for like 50 bucks. By the time they had all the discounts and then they had the buy three, get three. And they had all these other sales going on. Their candles were like three for 20 or three for 15. I came home with two huge bags and I only spent like $50. I love their sales. And when they when you can use the coupons too... Yeah, I can walk out of there with a crap load of stuff. Yeah, I haven't bought anything for myself either except for the diamond painting kits that I got like on Black Friday and I bought one on Cyber Monday. And like I said, I don't need any coloring books or supplies, so I'm all set with that. There's only a couple coloring books I want to get, but I don't. I have so much now. I just want to stick with, like, several of my favorite artists. Oh, really, Corey? I have one I carry with me when I babysit because those boys... 
they catch every well Carson's now in kindergarten so he catches everything so I carry my sanitizer thing with me when I'm at their house and Blake seems to catch colds really easy so yeah I like the little sanitizer thing I carry that around when I babysit and I like their hand soaps I buy those what is the first Christmas you can rem remember and what specific aspect of it do you recall so what is the first Christmas you can remember and what specific aspects of it do you recall see I don't really remember any when I was a little girl I don't really remember any Christmases as a little girl I remember the first one I can remember is being a teenager and I told this in my um, diamond painting premiere that I that I have for a video um, we woke up with no power and we have a we we heated mostly with a wood-burning stove so my mom had a big cast iron pan that she cooked the ham in that on top of that actually you know what no that's not the first Christmas I can remember I remember when it I was in third grade and I will never forget this my dad got me a BB gun for Christmas I don't know why but he did my dad's in the hunting all my uncles are in the hunting my husband's a hunter my youngest son's a hunter so I was always brought up around guns but I was really never interested in them but he bought me one and I remember my mom's mom having a fit that he bought that for me <laughs> So yeah, that's the earliest one I can remember. And I was I remember I was in third grade. And I only remember that because I remember what house we were in and we only lived there one year. And I still have it. In fact, I think Dylan owns the um, BB gun now. So it is really old. <laughs> Hi, Megan. How are you? So, yep, that is the earliest one I can remember. Candace says getting her Nintendo when she was seven. Cold, it's 28 there. I don't know what it is here. Let me look. Um, it is... It is 29 here. Yep. So it's cold here too. Coloring down the under says I used to sleep under the tree every Christmas Eve to try to see Santa. Well, one night I got my wish. Dad put the presents out and drank the milk, put the biscuits back in the barrel. <laughs> yeah, I tried doing that one year. And... I fell out of bed because I heard Santa Claus in the living room. Laura says she remembers when she was six and got a huge stuffed horse under the tree. It was bigger than her. Yeah, I forgot about the BB gun. I remember that now. Savannah says 32 there. No, Megan, they haven't. I was going to let you know they they have not come in yet. I keep waiting. I would have told you if they were here. I would have thanked you. I mean, thank you anyways, but no, they're not here. I don't know why. Charisma says it's 66 there. That's okay. I like 
the cold weather for winter for Christmas. I know you mailed them out a while ago, Megan. I'm looking to see when you um when you messaged me. I'm looking. See, that was a while ago. They should have been here by now. Yeah, why aren't they here? You said... Well, you told me on December 1st that your sister was going to mail it from work. And I have not seen it yet. No, thank you. I don't want 104. I don't like the heat. <laughs> I don't like the heat at all. I am. I like it between 65 and 75 in the summer. I don't like the heat. It makes me miserable and a witch. Okay, Megan. Yeah, nope. They, I hope they didn't get lost. Okay. Yeah, I don't like the heat. You can keep that 104. <laughs> I will even take below zero before I take that 104. Because I can put more clothes on. <laughs> Mrs. Coffee loves the heat and hates the cold. See, I love the cold and hate the heat. My husband likes loves the cold loves the heat and hates the cold I would like to move down like in North Carolina but my friends that live in the Carolinas are all like well you're gonna want to be up like in the mountain area where you get snow a little bit of snow because I love the snow I just don't drive in it and in the Carolinas they get snow they shut everything down <laughs> <laughs> Not here. You're going to tell your Santa story on your premiere? Yeah, I told a lot. I told a few stories on my premiere, and I did a few of these chat pack questions as well. You got four inches of snow last night? Cool. That's right, coloring down under. There's only so much you can take off that, or at least that anybody wants to see. <laughs> and unless you have a pool, I didn't have a pool. So if the if it was, and we didn't have air conditioner when my kids were little. We had one in the bedroom, but my husband worked a lot of nights, so he'd sleep during the day. I just learned to fill up the bathtub with cold water and the boys would sit in that and I would sit in a chair with my feet in the tub <laughs> and we would do that. <laughs> oh, you did a tag in yours, Mrs. Coffee in your premiere? Well, yeah, I thought it would be fun doing the chat pack and people will be listening. They can answer them. Yeah, see, now I have air conditioners now. I have three of them. So I'm good. <laughs> and they're on a lot in the summer. And my son got one for his living room because I babysit there and I can't handle the heat. And he doesn't like the heat either. Okay, here's a good question. If you could choose any one day of the year, regardless of the season, on which to have six inches of snow fall, which day would you choose? Well, if you're going to get six inches of snowfall on one day, 
I would have to pick Christmas. I would pick Christmas Day as long as they kept the roads clear. Because I have to have a white Christmas. It's not the same. We do get green Christmases once in a while. It's just not the same. But as long as they could keep the roads clear, I would say Christmas. Otherwise, Christmas Eve, and then the roads would be clear in the morning, and you still would have a white Christmas. Megan says her birthday in January. Corey says in July for her birthday. Well, then you'd have to probably go to Australia for July to have snow. <laughs> That everybody's choosing mostly Christmas Day. Yep. Christmas. That's going to be the last question. It's 10 to 10. And my animals are all looking at me like, hello. Come feed us. It's an hour past our feeding time. The dog looks like she passed out. <laughs> and Molly is all of a sudden very quiet. And Lisa's trying to get a hold of me. I haven't talked to her in like a week. And I'm going to diamond paint the rest of the night. So it's ten going on 10 o'clock. So I probably go to bed around 1. So about 3 hours of diamond painting I will get in. And see what diamond painting videos went up yesterday and today. And go watch some of those. Or if somebody's live streaming. I don't know if anybody's live streaming tonight for diamond painting. I need a, I need to get a schedule written out of who diamond who does live stream diamond paintings on what night. So your puppy update been driving you insane. <laughs> Good alarm clock. Savannah's gonna go eat dinner. I already had dinner. It's almost ten here. So, thank you everybody for keeping me company tonight. And I finished my page I was coloring. And tomorrow night's live planner talk. And Wednesday night is whip Wednesday. We will be coloring and finishing another whip. Hopefully I can finish another whip. Oh, it's almost 7 there. <laughs> You're welcome, Laura. I love you guys. You're working on a schedule, Pippa? That would be great. There used to be one for coloring, but everybody's has changed. So that would be great if you got one up. I might actually find some new ones I can watch, but I watch quite a few. So... See you all either tomorrow or Wednesday night. Laura Law is live right now. I don't know Laura Law. Is that her channel name? Laura Law? I'll have to look that up. Okay. Laura Law's Craft Corner. Okay, I'll go check that out, Pippa. Thank you very much. Bye, everybody. See you later.